Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do the FOMO bag tag. So stay tuned to see which bags I have that were FOMO bags for me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future content. Hit the like button for this video if you want to see more content like it. Okay, today I'm going to do the FOMO bag tag. I'm a little bit late to this this trend. Um, I don't even, I don't know if I was tagged to do it or not, but regardless, here we are. So I actually have two FOMO bags that I could like think of off the top of my head. They were the first two that came to mind. Um, so let's just dive right in. To start, just to explain the FOMO bag tag. FOMO means fear of missing out. And Tesla from Teslux created this tag, so I just wanted to kind of give that credit, and a ton of other YouTubers have done this tag already, and I just kind of wanted to jump in. So there are five questions that go along with this. The first question is, what piece did you purchase due to FOMO? Number two is, did you pay under, at, or over retail? Three is, how does what you paid compare to current retail pricing? Four, do you still own the bag? Why or why not? And five, do you regret the purchase? So the first one I could think of was the, the tote bag by Marc Jacobs. I purchased it in two sizes, the mini and the small. I did a comparison video on those, and I will put those that up here for you to see. Um, so you can go back and see that video. I ended up keeping the small because I had the intent of carrying my... Um, computer to and from work with me and that ended up not needing to happen. So that was the first piece. I purchased it because um, I thought I was going to miss out on it. It was kind of a panic buy. I wanted to do a video on it. So that's why I purchased that. The second, did you pay at under at or over retail? I paid under retail. I actually paid retail is $195 and it still is today $195. I paid $175 on Amazon. Y'all know I love Amazon. Uh, the third question, how does what you paid compare to current retail pricing? The current retail pricing is still $195 plus tax. And so what I paid is still under that. So I, you know, that's good. Do I still own the bag? Why or why not? Nope. Like I said, I thought I was going to carry it to and from work. I was going to need to take my computer back and forth. So that's why I kept the small size, not the mini. And had I... Uh, known that I, w I ended up not needing to carry my computer back and forth to work, um, I actually would have kept the mini size. Um, so, no, I don't still own it. Um, do I regret the purchase? Not at all. There's not a lot that I regret in life. If I, I really can't even think of anything that I regret in life, and purse purchases are definitely not going to make that list of, like, life regrets <laughs> because they are luxury, they are extras in life, and um, I just... I don't see the, the reason of regretting these purchases. The second bag that I that came to mind, so what piece did you purchase due to FOMO? Let's go through the questions again, is the Coach Cassie in chalk. And why did I purchase it? Um, so I actually purchased that one because I wanted the push at Matisse, but I did not, I could not justify the price for the push at Matisse as it continued to go up in price as well. And I just didn't know that I was gonna like it. So I really didn't want to pay that much for it. And then, you know, enter the Coach Cassie and what a great alternative. So I was like, I'll buy that and check it out. Well, I kept dragging my feet on purchasing it. I couldn't decide if I wanted the chalk or the black. And I finally decided on chalk and they were sold out. So <laughs> I went onto eBay and I found it. And it says, the next question is, did you pay under at or over retail? I paid under when it was available. When the Coach Cassie was available, it was three, $350 and I paid $180. Um, so I'll link the video to the Coach Cassie review that I did up here, kind of kind of mini review. I had just unboxed it and all that. Third question, how does what you paid compare to current retail pricing? Well, it's no longer in stores. Um, however, when it was at stores for $350 and I paid $180, uh, I was quite a bit under. I was, I was actually really thrilled with that purchase. Um, do you still own the bag? Why or why not? No, nope, I don't own it. Because I learned that I really don't like compartmentalized bags. I also don't like bag organizers for the most part. There are exceptions to that rule, but compartmentalized bags are just not my thing. I like to have a bigger, just like open area to put my stuff into in a bag. So do I regret the purchase? No. I especially don't regret that purchase because I was able to learn what I like in in a bag, um, what I like, what I need, what I want. And that was one that helped me learn that tremendously without me having to spend $2,000 plus dollars on the push-up Matisse. So those are my FOMO bags. Those are the, like I said, the two that I could think of like off the top of my head when I heard this tag. Um, thank you to Tesla for creating this this 
tag. It was a fun one to do. It really got me thinking about purchases in the past. And of course, as you guys know, as I'm moving forward with intentionalism, minimalism, whatever you call it, uh, really reflecting back on some of these purchases has helped me to kind of move forward in my purse journey, life journey, all of that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Which bags have you purchased due to FOMO and why? Were you afraid that you wouldn't be able to get it later on, that you wanted to make a video on it if you're a YouTuber? Were you afraid you were just gonna miss out on something really great? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you later. Bye. And Tess Lux from I mean, it's still, but it really got me thinking, did, were you afraid? And what bag have you purchased due to FOMO and why?